All right, guys, so I was soloing Hydras the other day to get all of my nine Power Stones in official uh, NA PvP, and I realized on accident, it was like a total mishap, uh, but I realized that you could actually drown the Hydras instead of spending all your bolts or however you're killing, killing them uh, with cannonballs or whatever. I actually use ballistas, so it saves me just tons of ballistas uh, to drown it, and I still get the artifact key. It works just like normal when it dies. Uh, you still get the mythos and everything. So I figured I'd share that with you guys. I'm not sure if that's like a widely known thing or if it's just something I didn't know about, uh, but I couldn't help but uh, want to share. So I'm covering some of all of these Power Stone Islands and how to, uh, where to find the Hydra spawns uh, and where to find the Fountain of Youth locations to turn in the uh, Power Stones. So some of these I'm doing differently. Uh, if you guys want more insight on traversing the terrain and uh, dealing with the animals here uh, and just kind of like the survival side of this, uh, go check out one of the other ones. I think for maybe M12 we did an official uh, and I recorded that, so that's all official. Uh, but I wanted to bring this one, which is the C6, C6 Power Stone. I brought it to my private server so I could just fly through it uh, and get to the point, show you, show you guys the spawns. Uh, and then show you guys the chamber and just how to drown it. So I wanted to focus on how to drown it. And it's just like normal, just get it out to the boat, kite it out, uh, and then just kite it out quite a ways. You're not like ridiculously far, but make sure you're out there a little ways. Uh, and then just stop shooting it and just stay right in front of it. The Hydra swim at five knots. So whenever you are, whenever it's out there, just stop shooting it, stay right in front of it. It's eventually just gonna stop swimming and it's gonna start going down very slowly. And once its heads get underwater, it starts drowning. So you just sit there for about another 30, 40 seconds maybe, and then it dies. Uh, you get the artifact key and then go turn it in. So I did want to show you guys, um, though legit, how to do this. I'm going to go into walk mode and we're going to go up there. So anyway, so park the boat right here. Um, well, I guess have somebody scout. Maybe if you're doing this solo, let's look at this from a solo perspective, uh, which can be done. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys, I've done most of them solo and I've done them in the server time and time again, so it can be done. Uh, the server settings here are the same as official. So anyway, park right here uh, and make sure you scout the city. The city is right here. If you do not see the Hydra in this city, check over here to the west in this shore. Once you get to this shore, there's gonna be a big ass cliff right here. You're gonna have to scale the mountain up to uh, the top of that cliff and check if there's a hydra up there it's way the hell up there dudes but come in park right here you'll see it's a cliff that's like three times taller than any of the other cliffs uh, try to get range of the top of it snipe the hydra down and from there it'll be easier to kite it to the boat uh, but anyway on this map right now it's spawned over here in the city so i'm gonna show you guys the method of doing this park right here don't park like over here because the walls of the city prevent the hydra from walking out in any direction except for right here, this is a direct path to the Hydra. All right, so make sure you have a glider. Hopefully you guys know how to survive here and uh, stuff like that. I do have a carbine, two flint locks, a sword, which is gonna be pretty much useless. I carry the sword on me everywhere, but for the Power Stone Islands, it's not really gonna do me a whole lot. Uh, two climb picks, a glider suit, a uh, grappling hook if you want it, a lantern, spyglass. The last two are kind of not completely necessary, but two things that I like to use. I'm going to go ahead and reload. So you can see it's like a straight path here in, but I never like walking on the ground because you have stuff like lions and army of the damned and stuff like that. So that's where the climb pick and glider comes in handy. So I'm going to climb pick directly up the very first. Look, I see, yep, army of the damned spawn right off the bat. You just want to get up the first cliff that's closest to you to get out of the way of everything. Now all you have to deal with are more army of the damned if they spawn and uh, leather wings if they're in the area. So make sure you're sniping those leather wings down if you see them. They're a pain in the butt. And the army of the damned are a pain in the butt too. Just make sure you're avoiding those as you can. Kind of everywhere though. You can actually climb these trees. So if you get caught out here like I just did, just climb a tree, dudes. You can straight sit in the top of a tree if you want, which changes a lot of stuff PvP wise. If you guys are wanting to know, uh, you know, how some people are being really sneaky, 
one of my tactics is just climbing a tree. Nobody ever suspects the person of being in the tree. I swear to God, like never, dude. I don't think anybody knows you can climb trees in this game because, yeah, anyway, so climb over, I mean, fly over here to this little building right here. Now, you should be in range of the Hydra now. You need to start being careful and keep an eye out. It should be right in front of me somewhere. I think if I fly over here, I might have a shot on him. Maybe. So what I'm doing right now is just going in K mode. Yep, I see him. He's over there. If you guys want to know how to go in this mode, hopefully you know already, but uh, just press K. It's called orbital camera. So he's in those trees. Maybe I'll get a red marker. Oh yeah, I got a red marker right there. Right there. Is that him? Hope so. Did it hit? Uh, I don't think it hit. Let's try a different marker. I see movement right there, but I can't tell if that's a head or... Oh, here we go. Right? Is that his head? Looks like it. Yep, 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 yep. Alright, he's gonna start spitting stuff at you, so here you have to be careful. Oh, yep, he got me. Crap. Just keep him kited. That one shot's not gonna do it, so we're... This is actually a horrible angle. I'm gonna fly right... There, I think that's a step. There we go. Come on, Hydra. If you guys want to know more about the attacks, I did make a video on how to spawn uh, the Hydra, and we talk about all of its attacks and how to use them, how they're used. Um, he's stuck. Is he stuck, dude? For real? Okay, I think maybe I just got him unstuck. Oh, crap. Oh, dang it. Alright, come on, buddy. If you're flying and he hits you with any of his attacks... Uh, you will undeploy your glider. Oh no, see, he's walking back. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. What did I do, what did I do, what did I do? Hello, I'm under the Hydra. Good thing I'm in GCM mode, because I would die right now. Holy crap. I fudged up. Big time. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so if you're doing this without cheats, uh, which hopefully you guys do experience some of these Hydras uh, or all of your Power Stones without cheats, um, you will need to be more careful than I just was. That was pretty stupid. Oh, what the heck? I hit him, but he still kept going back. See, the, only, the problem with kiting them is that if you don't have like enough firepower on them they'll just de-aggro and walk all the way back come on buddy let's show the people how to drown you come on buddy what you doing here you go this way I'm with stupid over here. Oh, hello. He heard me. Uh-oh. Go, dude. Alright, dude. I got the Hydra over here pissed off at me. And I'm about to get eaten because I'm not prepared. Not prepared. Not prepared. Alright, get on the wheel. Yep, unanchor it. Go. Make sure the uh, AI on the back of the ballista shoot it. 
just to keep it accurate on the boat. There we go. You want it to come out here with you. Uh, come on this way, buddy. Where are you going? Over here. Where's he going? Okay, sometimes they get a little confused. They're just monsters, okay? Anyway, just keep them kited on you. Like I said, the goal is just to get out there a little ways. And uh, stop shooting it. Yep. There we go. Now these things go five knots. We've measured it once. They go five knots. Um, so this mythical brig with myth mythical sails with like 200% uh, acceleration are not going to... I'm going to have to like barely have them raised. This thing could cut off on that hydra right now if I wanted to. But you don't want to do that. Just stay right in front of it. It can't do its elemental attacks anymore, so don't worry. If it does get too close, it will try to take a bite out of your AI or your boat. Uh, so be careful of getting too, too close. But for the most part, we ought to be good here. Just keep shooting. You really only have to shoot it every like 20 seconds if you're super trying to like save your bolts. Um, oh, shite. Everybody's mutinying. Whoops. Are those the people on this boat? No. Who is that? Who's mutinying? Anyway. Whatever. I don't think I had enough gold or something in the... In the uh, was it the silo? Put gold in the silo? Whoops. Or the flag. Is it the flag? That should be good enough range. I'm going to go ahead and test it and see if this is close enough. You shouldn't really have to get it too far out. So let's just stop shooting it and stay right in front of it. Once it stops, we're going to back up over it and then get out. Uh, we're going to go swimming with it and watch it die. It's pretty creepy being down there with the Hydra. Anyway, you get the artifact key, like I said. You can see I don't have one on me right now. Here in a minute, it should stop right now. It starts slowing down dramatically, so right now it's slowing down. I'm just going to go ahead and pull my sails all the way down. It should stop. Oh, come on, don't bite me. Yeah, there it goes. There it goes. I think I almost re-aggroed it. Yep, so you can see it sinking. That's perfect. I'm not even... Dude, it's so creepy. Like... I don't know if I should go up there. It might try to eat me. I'm just going to stay right here on the wheel. Anyway, that's how to drown a Hydra, dude. Oh, that's so creepy being this close to it. That's so creepy. It does take a minute. You can tell it's pretty slow. And even when it does get completely under, it's still going to take like, I don't know, like I said, probably maybe like 40 seconds, 45 seconds. I can't help but to want to snipe it right now, but it's just going to re-aggro it. Let's go swimming with it. From this point, we've probably got about another 30 seconds. Oh, that's so much more creepier being in the water with it. I think you can get right up on it and it's not going to try to eat you or anything. Oh, that's so creepy, dude. Uh, I can't do it. This is so creepy. It's big old claws. Ooh. Creepmeister. Let's take a screenshot. Thumbnail. <laughs> oh, I gotta zoom back in. Ooh, that's so creepy, dude. Oh, that's so creepy. Let's go down some. I can't even. Oh, that's cool. As 
long as you're in range of it, just make sure you're close to it. I would advise, like I said, backing the boat up and just letting everybody stay up there. If you're on the boat in this range, you're going to get the artifact key. It should die any second here. Yep, there it goes. Artifact key. And then before you chop it up, I wouldn't even chop it up. It only gives a little bit of hide. Uh, just go access the inventory. It's got 2,000 mythos on there. 2,000. Go back up. Alright, now we're going to find the uh, chamber to turn this power stone in. I don't have the server set up to actually give me any power stone other than the purple one. And I've already got the purple one. Uh, so it's not going to pop anything up for me. But I do want to show you guys where to find that chamber. Alright, I do believe we're coming up on the chamber. So it's going to be... Oh, it's right here. Oh yeah, I remember this one now. Yep, just look for this hole right here. You can actually go in this. I think that's like an overhang cliff. Let's see, it's right in front of us. Yep, that's an overhang cliff. So we can go through that down here and actually park right up next to it. It does get pretty narrow uh, and doing stuff like this isn't really my cup of tea if I'm in a PVP uh, server. So I don't recommend this if you are in a PVP server going all the way in like this. But for the sake of the video and the fact that I'm in a private server I'm gonna pull all the way in here all right so yeah just look for that shipwreck keep going over here I'm actually gonna fly through this right now see this, this is the marker for each one of the chambers just run directly past it you'll see this cave right here hook a right Look another right, and then go through here. It's a straight path across a bridge. Watch out for stupid crap like cobras and bats. The sparkle is the fountain of youth. And press E on this to turn in your key to get the purple power stone. I'm gonna fly back out of here before I pass out. Oh no, I'm in god mode. I don't think I can pass out. Yep, so go in there naked. I don't ever recommend actually going in there with a kid on. Uh, one thing I have not tried, and it's kind of something I do want to try, is actually taking grenades in there to clear out the chamber area. And uh, seeing how that works, I don't know, that sounds fun, I might do that. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I just want to show you guys how to get the purple power stone here, which is the only one that I've actually got in my private server. And official, I do have all of them. Uh, but yeah, anyway, hopefully this video helped you guys. Uh, keep an eye out for my other power stone trips. I do want to show you guys uh, where to find some of the spawns and where to uh, turn it in for the power stone itself. So, yep, I'll catch you guys on the flip-flop.